Hey guys, it's Carly here for MFT, and today I wanted to share with you some ink smooshing. It's a really fun and easy technique for creating backgrounds for your handmade cards, and I'm going to show you two easy ways to do it. So ink smooshing is a technique that uses water reactive inks, water, and a surface to smoosh things onto cardstock with. So in this case, I'm going to be using acetate. I've grabbed some smooth watercolor cardstock, a piece of acetate, this is just a scrap that I had, I've got a spray bottle of clean water, and then I've got some colors of distress ink. I'm going to start by pressing my piece of acetate into my ink pads, misting it with a little bit of that clean water, and then smushing it down onto my watercolor cardstock. The acetate is really great for this technique because it's so flexible, you can really control where the color is going down on your cardstock and even kind of the shape of it. If you press harder or press lighter, you can deposit more or less ink. And if you don't have acetate handy, I would say even grab a scrap of plastic, maybe even some packaging that was going to go in the trash and just see how it turns out. It's easy to wipe off with just a paper towel or a baby wipe and then change to a different color and continue on making your background. And I love techniques like this that make me feel really artistic when it's really super easy and kind of foolproof, but it feels like I painted some gorgeous abstract background. Another way that you can pick up the ink is to swipe your ink pad onto your craft mat mist that with water, and then use your piece of acetate almost like it's a paintbrush. And that might work better for you, give you more control, and just be a little bit easier than sometimes putting your acetate into the ink pad and misting it. Probably my biggest piece of advice is make sure you have a good stack of watercolor cardstock candy, because once you start doing this, it's a little bit addictive, <laughs> and you might want to make a whole bunch of backgrounds to use at a later date. Okay, so while we set this one aside to dry, let's talk about a second way to do some ink smushing, and that is with an acrylic block. So I've got this dirty, unloved acrylic block that never gets used for regular stamping. I really hold on to it only for this technique. I'm applying the Distress ink to the etched grid side of the block because I want those detailed lines, but you could do it to the other side too. And um, I'm not too worried about contaminating my ink pads with other colors. If you are worried about that, you can just keep a little bit more space in between the two colors because you are going to miss this with water. And so that's going to kind of make the colors blend. So you don't have to worry about overlapping them too much. So like I said, missed it. And then I'm going to turn it over like a stamp and put it onto my watercolor cardstock. Okay, so you want to set it down and then you want to push on it. And depending on how much blending you want is how hard you want to push, I suppose. Um, you can also pick it up right away and it's going to look something like this. That's if I let it sit for a minute. And this one I've been letting sit for probably a good half an hour. So I'm going to pick this one up and you can see what it looks like. So it started to dry a little bit and the color started to blend a little bit more. That last one, the one I let sit for a half an hour, that's my favorite. So here you can see my two techniques side by side, and then here you can see them as finished cards. So I finished them with two sets that I'm just smitten with for fall, the Biddy Fall Leaves Dies and the Grateful Greeting Stamps. I just think both of these sets are gorgeous. I love them so much, and I love how these cards turned out. I hope you do too. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you were inspired to craft today. I definitely hope you get to, and I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks so much. Happy crafting.